So today we'll be mixing two of the most commonly used herbicides in Australia, and that's glyphosate and 2,4-Ds. Right now we'll move on to a worst case scenario, and, and unfortunately this is something we do see in the field from time to time. Very common, say if you're using what, 110 litre drums and you're using a hose, you go straight from a glyphosate straight onto a um, 2,4-D or vice versa. So you get neat on neat mixed in all that hose and, and sometimes you could block that whole hose before you even get to the pump. We've got 2,4-D inside this jar and now we're going to put a K-salt glyphosate into the mixture. Neat on neat, and we'll give that a quick bit of agitation as you'd have in a pump and uh, very quickly it goes pasty. Completely blocks hoses, filters and a complete nightmare to clean out. Now this is all settled and it's gone pasty. It doesn't matter what you do as far as putting water back in, mix it and agitate it, and that's never gonna come back into solution. To replicate the same mixture again, but this time to show the advances in the dual salt glyphosate, we've already got the 2,4-D in the mixture here. I'll put the, the Weedmaster Argo, the dual salt, on top of it. And you know, can give it a good mix. It, it does definitely go off in a cloudy colour, but to demonstrate the extra compatibility over the single K, it, um, you know, it hasn't gone solid. So it's allowed you to have time to put water in on top, um, and you can, you can have a go at putting that out in the field, but obviously without hesitation, you'd get it out as quick as you can, or you could dump it if you needed to, but stark difference in compatibility, you know, not settling out near instant with the single K glyphosate. I hope this demonstration's clarified some of the issues we might see around tank mixing a common product such as glyphosate and 2,4-D.